Hello everyone, it's Michael here and uh, thank you for logging in into my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the installation of the M2 SSD uh, into a computer that does not have a slot to support an M2. Alright, so I have a computer here and uh, in my computer here there's no um, an M2 SSD slot. Uh, and uh, my computer supports uh, an SSD and or an HHD and um, but there's a way in which we can actually um, use an M2 into this computer and in this case I have a PC high slot which supports which has a slot that supports my M2 SSD all right so this um, this PCI uh, slot is made by Ugreen and um, it actually it's able to fit into the um, different types of uh, PCI slots such as the X16, the X8 and the X4 and in my case I'm going to be using the X16 alright so um, this PCI slot here actually supports a transfer rate of about um, 30 giga, uh, 30 giga bytes per second um, which is the data transfer and um, it also uh, supports these different types of M2 SSDs which is the 2230, 2242, 2260 and uh, the 2280 so basically the difference is in the distance so you find that the 2230 actually has a, a shorter distance and uh, the 2242 has quite uh, a bit longer distance and 2260 and then 2280 uh, then we've got also the 30, 3030 which has got quite a higher distance compared which is quite longer uh, compared to, to this slot here alright so in my case I'm gonna be using the uh, I think this is the 2260 here and uh, we're gonna try and inst install it. So when it comes to the installation, the installation is actually very simple. You actually uh, just slide it into this slot here and uh, you can actually slide it off into this slot here as you can see. It's very... And uh, you have to have uh, a screwdriver which I believe this is a Phillips screwdriver here and you can you can actually screw it up here all right so if you wanna actually if you want something that has got uh, very high transfer rates uh, such as uh, maybe uh, 60 gigabytes per second or and so on or maybe one which has got uh, two slots that can support two two m2s ssd you can actually get one you just have to pay a bit quite higher compared to this one here and um, this type of uh, PCI here uh, is supports uh, actually Windows. So in this case, we will do the uh, the installation and let's see how it's gonna work. All right. So in my case here, I have the X16, and uh, I'm gonna slide it in into the X16 slot here, uh, which is my PCI slot, uh, PCIe slot here and um, it's actually very easy you can see we've got uh, uh, a smaller slot here and we've got quite a, a longer slot here you don't have to actually worry about it being longer and you having short here um, short distances here usually when um, you buy something that can accommodate two m2 ssds this you expect it to have uh, a sata cable here which is able to uh, maybe transfer power to the PCI here but in my case I only have one M2 SSD so I actually don't need a, a SATA cable for it to connect to the motherboard and uh, gain some uh, power from the motherboard and so on in this case it's actually a, a, a direct uh, transmission alright so this time we're gonna plug it in so you can see you can actually just plug it in in accordance to it here and uh, push it inside the computer and that's it and uh, the next step is you turn on your computer alright so in this case my computer is running very 
seems to run very well and uh, the next thing you just wait for your computer to boot up a bit all right great so my computer has booted up and um, the next thing is that um, I have to go and uh, check up with if my disk is uh, reflecting and uh, let me see all right so here it is let me see all right so this is the disk here and uh, it's actually reflecting here and uh, sometimes you might find that your disk is not able to reflect here so the thing uh, so what you can do if you don't have a reflection here you can actually go to manager here uh, or device manager here uh, actually you can go to manager then you go to disk management then uh, you can see here here and uh, you can actually uh, uh, assign uh, a letter to it here and in my case um, um, my disk has already been assigned but usually if um, usually when you in install it for the first time uh, sometimes it doesn't just reflect here so you need to come to manager then you go through this disk management then you can actually just change the driver letters and uh, uh, the path or you can actually try to format all right in this case uh, I'm gonna try to move data from this flash disk here into one of the disk and I see which is able to which one is able to transfer data at um, a higher quite a speed so in this case I'm using a, um, a USB a 2.0 and uh, I don't think it's gonna be so much effective but um, let's see how the difference can be all right so the first one here uh let's see all right yes all right so the first one here i'm gonna be moving data from the usb into my uh disk e which is actually uh the ssd and uh we can see that the the, the transfer rate is about six um, and 11 to uh, around this error and uh, the other one I'm going to let me try there so you can see you can tell the difference here that you can actually get uh, quite a higher a higher transfer compared to to the previous one so the next one uh, I'm going to be moving uh, data from the the M2 into into the into the uh, the into the USB here. So we can see we have this amount here, and uh, which is about 25, 26. And uh, the next one, I'm gonna be moving data from um from from the ssd into the ssd into into the flash disk and see how how much data transfer we can get all right so you are getting about 5 to 11 and so so in this case, we can tell the difference uh, between the M2 SSD and uh, the SSD itself. So if you want to upgrade your computer to get higher transfer rates and uh, save some time, you can actually consider this way um, of using the M2. Um, of using the M2. And uh, if your computer does not support or does not have um, an M2 slot, you can actually uh, consider buying one of this, buying one of this, which is from your green, and to use it into your computer in order to accommodate the M2. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate. It. Bye bye, and love you all.